Well, hello, my name is Jonah Wade, and this is my 92 Jeep Cherokee. Its nickname is the Sender Mobile. So the box is a three quarter, three quarter inch plywood that I built in a shop in the winter time. Just lacquered it. Burnt it with a Tiger torch. Very simple, right? It's held on by these little clips here. I kind of just drilled through the bottom of the box and put them through to secure it on these roof racks. These bolts here actually hold the heater for, hold the tank for the Chinese diesel heater. So I, I keep a lot of my, my ski gear, my mountaineering gear in here, um, boots, extra tools like stuff to clean the motor, WD-40, WD-40 and duct tape, you need it. Diesel tank, crampons, <laughs> and a weather seal so you keep the water out. Well on this side, what we have is the majestic Novacraft canoe built in London, Ontario. It's, it's a beautiful vestibule. Underneath that, we have another rack. And what I like to do is I'll throw wood in here or other cargo or other people's ski gear, multi-purpose. So I actually have a bit of a lift on here um, and bigger tires. I think they're 33s. They're fairly decent in the snow, but as soon as you get on ice with them, they're, they're a little squirrely. Makes it interesting. What we have here is a little tube for the diesel heater. And when you're going down logging roads, it gets jam packed full of dirt. So what I suggest is duct tape, put some duct tape on it. You never know what's gonna happen. Your life is always refreshing. It's always refreshing every day. Wake up tomorrow and there could be like this crazy opportunity. I could meet this person and go on this crazy adventure. It's always different. <laughs> you're never bored. There's always something to do. Yeah, and it's cheap. <laughs> Today's van tour is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes for creators. It's basically the fastest and easiest way to learn new skills and get lost in your passions. Chances are, if you're into van life or want to get into van life, you're pretty creative. And Skillshare is a great way to keep your creativity flowing. There's everything from photography, film and video, creative writing, and even music production. The biggest thing that new van lifers want to learn is how to work from the road. And Skillshare can help with that. With courses on how to get started as a freelancer or an entrepreneur. Personally, I've been diving into Molly Green's course on tiny home design. We're building our own tiny home on our trailer frame and it's made planning our tiny home much easier with her techniques. Whatever you're into, Skillshare probably has it and there are no ads. It's made specifically for learning and they're always launching new premium classes. A yearly subscription is less than $10 a month and the first thousand subscribers to click the link in the description below will get a free trial of the premium membership. Happy learning. So guys, let's check out the living area. So what we have here is a boot storage slash, there's like shackles, there's a um, tow rope and other stuff you want to put underneath there, an axe, a saw. So what I did was my friend gave me uh, a bed, just a very small bed for, well, it's a kid's bed because <laughs> I'm a short guy. <laughs> so it's about six foot, uh, it's about six foot one long and I actually put it against the back of the seat and it fits in there snug. Next, we got the cabinetry. We have on the lower part of the cabinet here, I got three uh, switches. I got one for the heater, one for the inverter, and another one for accessories. So if I wanna hook up lights, if I wanna hook up another inverter, um, anything that I wanna hook up in the future. On top of that, I have my stove and I can drive with that on there. But if I go down logging roads, 
I undo the gas canister and I'll put it on the bed and I put everything that you see on the stove, I just put it right on the bed and for drive mode for like really rough logging roads. But I could just drive down the highway or drive around town like that, it never falls off. So the ceiling, I actually did a custom job for the ceiling because I took out the liner and, um, and actually burned Tiger Torch the ceiling and have different signatures of people I've met in the past and cool stories that they share on the, on the wood. I have other storage here for like, you know, for toothbrush, toothpaste, just kind of some miscellaneous stuff, some supplements and a comb, uh, lights, toilet paper there, like my toiletries and stuff. It's kind of just all in one spot. I have a minus 20 sleeping bag plus a minus 18 uh, duck down bag. So this is synthetic and this is duck down. Rarely have to use it with the uh, Chinese diesel heater. They work really well. I would like to have a sink and stuff in it. Some sort of plumbing in there to where I could wash dishes. I wouldn't have to get outside. But other than that, it fits my needs very well. So I have this tire mount made by Smitty Built. It has a spare tire tool mount up top. I have my jack. I put my some of my coolant stuff here. Um, I actually store my water here. You can store an extra uh, gas can there if you need to. So what I did here was I put reflectants on the inside panels. Took out all the insulation and just wanted to make it simple so it was easy to fix on the road. They have some R value and it works pretty good for what I need. I have my adventure books, my laptop. I have my curtains will actually fold down. So they're just screwed to the, to the wood on the ceiling. And when I'm in town or whatever, and I want some privacy, I just roll them down. And I have curtains that go all the way around on the inside. So when I'm driving, I'll put the gear down like this and yeah, so we have storage here. Um, I just put my clothing here and my toques. I have other electronics. Um, yeah, there's quite a bit of room in there that's, that suits my needs. So on the other side of the vehicle, I have um, a place where I can do my maintenance on my heating system. I have a line here that goes to the Chinese diesel heater, to that filter down through the floor, to a pump, and then into the bottom of the heater. I have an extra battery for, I can turn the main battery off and just isolate just this one for the heater and for charging my laptops and my cameras and stuff like that. This is the heater tube here that runs into the cab. So let's take a look at the cab here. Um, what I did was uh, I had these seats in before and they didn't fit in here properly. So I had the weld brackets on the bottom of the seats and um, weld it. This is actually a back seat out of a Taurus. And it actually used to have like three, it would three fold like this. So I actually had to take all the guts off the bottom of the seat and refab everything. So I actually took out all the carpet and all the insulation. I took out everything, patched all the holes in the bottom of the floor, painted in rocker guard. For the coolers, I keep all my food in there and eggs, bacon, you know, got to live it up. You know, you got to have the eggs and bacon, um, canned foods, whatever, any type of food I have, I keep them in the coolers. That is like a day cooler if I have, you know, drinks or if I'm going out somewhere like uh, rock climbing or anything like that. I have stuff in that cooler. I have my water there so it doesn't freeze at nighttime, but I actually store it on the back, back rack. 
I have uh, this here for driving, drying my clothing. And I just, very simple, I just go straight across here, aim the heater at it, and it dries my clothing. I fold that seat down so I can put the cooler and other stuff on there. But what I do if I have another person, I put it in the back and I fold the seat up. So it's multi-purpose. I can see myself when I used to live back home in Ontario until now, it's like, I didn't even climb a mountain before. Now I've climbed mountains after mountains and met hundreds, thousands of people and networked and had great fun. And yeah, it's really, it's changed my life by getting me outside the box, meeting people more organically and yeah, some lifelong friends for sure. <laughs>